Oh man, I already know I'm gonna get some real hate for this video. I just I had, I had to make this, okay? I had to defend my players a little bit, you know? And, you know, I guess I, I understand. I will always understand. I'm gonna say that first, okay? I will always understand both sides of the story. And I will always never just pick a side just because that's my side. But I am defending my team a little bit because I think it's kind of unfair to kind of like use that narrative, you know, to say why Anthony Davis will not go to the Celtics. But his father did come out and he was defending Isaiah Thomas and bringing that whole situation up of how my son will never play for the Celtics because they're an unloyal franchise. Just look at what they did to Isaiah Thomas, you know, after everything he did. And all of that, is it, it, it's fair. It's 100 percent true. It, it's a definite crazy situation that after somebody's sister died after not even that even like that part you know is a big factor in the whole thing but just the fact that this guy played his heart out for you you know he gave you everything he had that's a fair point and i completely agree with that you know and i could definitely see why you know somebody like isaiah thomas will feel a certain way and he should feel a certain way but at the end of the day as a fan, I was looking at it like, wow, you know, of course. But now, looking into it, it made the team better. So I can never, as a fan, be mad that my GM made a, a smart trade. I can't. And if you're using that against him because he made a team better, that's stupid. Okay? Now, getting into it on a different, you know, perspective is to say, hey, Anthony, you're not loyal. You know what I'm saying? You're leaving your team while they're in the position they're in you could stay there and make that an opportunity and make that franchise the best franchise because they're willing to give you everything you could be the first guy Stephen a said to sign a, a 300 million dollar contract you're in route for all that all you got to do is be loyal remember that word right loyal to your team but instead you're leaving that franchise to go to a better franchise because your team is not good enough so now you're going to abandon your team in the west and go to a different team in the west not only so you could win but because that team seems funner that team seems like it could bring you more opportunity in just life and i'm not saying that's bad i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is you cannot use that as a way to say why you won't join the celtics or why you would not at least like to be traded there okay it's it's like your dad coming for my team like that is crazy and i know part of that message is kind of how you feel you know, you just can't say that by NBA terms and all that. And I get that. I'm not mad. I just didn't want to hear that excuse of why you wouldn't want to come to the Celtics. I, I didn't want to hear that. I really didn't. That that was, nah, I'm good. Because at the end of the day, all teams have done some like wild astrolandish things. And, you know, I, I think there's all the organizations that you came out and said that you would join have done probably some crazier things or at least to the same level that we have. So, you know, I, I just didn't want to hear that. I didn't really want to hear that at all, you know. And like I said, I'm willing to take some hate for this one. I'm just defending my Celtics, okay? I'm just defending them a little bit. And maybe maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I shouldn't even care this much about it. It's just, you know, I just feel like making it for no reason. <laughs> but tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. Shout out to Anthony Davis. Please come to the Celtics because I'm hearing rumors now, right? I don't know how true this rumor is. I just wanted to mention this before I ended the video that the Pelicans have denied the Lakers offer, right? Because the Lakers offered that monster trade. But the Lakers, they got denied because you know what? The Pelicans, the Pelicans are over here looking at the Celtics and they're like, we don't want none of those young players. We want Jason Tatum. We want Jason Tatum. And for that, we will trade for Anthony Davis for that. We'll do some deals. And um, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. As a Celtics fan, that scares me because I do not want to trade Jason Tatum. I would rather trade other pieces for Anthony Davis because I believe if Anthony Davis played on our team one year with the team that we got, we can go to the championship and we can convince him to stay, hopefully. Hopefully. So, Anthony... Come to the Celtics all 2019, all 2020, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just saying that is is what I see. You know, I, I hope that happens. 
I want Anthony Davis to come to the Celtics. That's why I hate hearing this dumb excuse. I know I continued this video after I said it was going to end it. It's just I remember to mention that part of this video. <sighs> God. So, look. I would trade Anthony Davis for, like, a Jalen Brown and a couple players and maybe a pick. That's what I would do. I know they're not going to take that, but that's what I would want to see because Jason Tatum, I mean, I just want Jason. That's what I want. That's what I want on the team. So, <sighs> aye, aye, aye. this is actually, this video took a whole different turn than I ever thought it was going to take. Okay, y'all, this was not supposed to be this long. You know what? This was a good video. I'm going to post it. Screw it. Screw it. I was going to delete this video. Screw it. Screw it. So. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.